Imagine turning the water from your toilet, shower, or kitchen sink into crystal clear, safe drinking water. Sounds crazy, right? But that's exactly what many advanced water treatment facilities are doing around the world. It's called wastewater recycling. And although it might sound unappetizing at first, the science behind it is both fascinating and incredibly important. As freshwater resources become more limited, especially in densely populated or drought-prone areas, the idea of turning sewer water into drinking water isn't just innovative, it's necessary. So how exactly do we transform dirty, contaminated wastewater into clean, drinkable H2O? Let's dive into the step-by-step -step process of modern water purification. Let's explore, right here, on History of Simple Things. The journey begins the moment water goes down your drain. Whether it's from flushing a toilet or running a washing machine, that wastewater enters a massive network of underground sewer pipes, eventually arriving at a treatment plant. The first step is primary treatment, which is all about removing the big stuff, both literally and figuratively. Large debris like sticks, plastic wrappers, sanitary products, and even sand or gravel are filtered out using bar screens and grit chambers. This step doesn't do much to clean the water chemically, but it sets the stage for more advanced purification. After the big solids are removed, the water flows into sedimentation tanks where heavier particles, such as organic sludge, settle at the bottom, forming what's called primary sludge. Skimmers on the surface also remove oils and grease. This stage removes about 50 to 60% of the suspended solids and a third of the biochemical oxygen demand, but it's far from drinkable just yet. Next comes secondary treatment, and this is where biology takes center stage. The partially cleaned water is pumped into aeration tanks where it's mixed with air and beneficial bacteria. These microorganisms are the unsung heroes of wastewater treatment. They feed on the remaining organic matter, breaking down waste like human waste, food particles, and soap residues. This biological process can take several hours to a few days, depending on the system. Once the microbes have done their job, the water flows into another sedimentation tank where the now heavier bacteria settle out, leaving behind much cleaner water. This process removes up to 90% of the organic matter and solids, and by this point, the water looks fairly clear, but it's still not safe to drink. It still contains trace amounts of viruses, bacteria, chemicals, and pharmaceuticals. That's where advanced or tertiary treatment comes in. Tertiary treatment is the final and most advanced stage in transforming wastewater into drinking water. This process involves several cutting-edge filtration and disinfection techniques. The most common is microfiltration, where the water is pushed through membranes with tiny pores that trap microscopic particles, bacteria, and even some viruses. After microfiltration, the water often undergoes reverse osmosis, a high-pressure process that forces water through semi-permeable membranes. These membranes are so fine that they can remove salts, heavy metals, pesticides, and even pharmaceutical residues. At this point, the water is nearly pure. But just to be sure, the final step is disinfection typically using ultraviolet light or ozone gas to kill any remaining pathogens. Sometimes chlorine is also added in very small amounts to maintain purity as the water travels through pipes. The end result, water that often meets or even exceeds the quality of traditional tap water from reservoirs or wells. Once the water has passed through all stages of treatment, it is typically stored in secure reservoirs or tanks before being pumped into the municipal drinking water system. In some systems, 
The purified water is reintroduced into groundwater basins through a process called indirect potable reuse. It's stored underground for months or years before being extracted, treated again, and sent to consumers. Other systems use direct potable reuse, where treated wastewater is sent straight to the water supply without returning to the environment. Both methods are monitored closely by public health agencies to ensure the water remains safe at every step. Sensors and quality checks are constantly running to detect any abnormalities. Now the big question, is drinking recycled sewer water actually safe? The answer is yes, absolutely. In fact, the water produced through advanced wastewater recycling is often cleaner than bottled water. Facilities are held to extremely strict regulations and the technology is designed to remove even the most trace contaminants. Cities like Orange County, California, and Windhoek, Namibia have been using purified wastewater for drinking for years without any health incidents. It's also worth noting that all water is, in a sense, recycled. The water we drink today has passed through countless natural and human-made systems, from rain to rivers to treatment plants. With modern purification technology, wastewater recycling simply accelerates and enhances what nature has done for millions of years. Recycling wastewater isn't just about making more drinking water, it's also a major environmental win. It reduces the strain on natural freshwater sources, like rivers, lakes, and underground aquifers. It also limits the amount of pollution discharged into oceans and waterways. In water-scarce regions like parts of Australia, Singapore, and the southwestern United States, Recycled water is becoming an essential part of long-term water security. As climate change intensifies and populations grow, this method of water purification could be key to preventing water shortages around the globe. So the next time you take a sip of water, think about the incredible journey it might have taken from sewer to sink. While the idea of drinking recycled sewage might seem unsettling at first, the truth is that science and engineering have made it not only safe, but essential. It's a brilliant example of how human ingenuity can turn a major problem, waste, into a sustainable solution. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.